Shahid, Anna Campbell's father and friend uh, of Kurzder Campbell. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for accepting the interview today. Happy to be here. What is your opinion on the uh, repeated reports of Turkey's use of chemical weapons against the Kurds? How can these reports of its use of such weapons be verified and proven? Well, here's something from the website of the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons concerning reports of chemical weapons use in Syria. The OPCW investigation and identification team was mandated by the Conference of the States Parties in June 2018 uh, to investigate such cases. The mandate was authorized by United Nations Security Council Resolution 2235 in August 2015. Turkey has been a non-permanent member of the UN Security Council for four terms, a total of seven years, with the most recent being the 2009 to 2010 term. Turkey is a charter member of the United Nations and participates in all of its specialized agencies and organizations. Therefore, <clears throat> Turkey's use of chemical weapons, which has been witnessed on many occasions, not only in the last two months, but as long ago as the late 1980s, should be immediately reported to the OPCW and the UN with the request that, the UN, that a UN resolution be passed mandating the OPCW <clears throat> to investigate. Um, Turkey signed the Chemical Weapons Convention, which came into force in 1997. It requires all parties to destroy their chemical weapons and allows any party state to request an inspection of another party state at any time. So um, that's what I think should be done now. Um, that is probably the best route to uh, bringing Turkey to account for its uh, atrocities, war crimes and human rights abuses uh, with regard to chemical weapons. My legal action against Turkey for its breach of my human rights uh, regarding the circumstances of my daughter's death could potentially be used as a platform for publicizing Turkey's other human rights abuses, including its long-standing use of chemical weapons against the Kurds. Uh, what are the Im implications are uh, there for arms sales to Turkey? Uh, nothing that the Turkish <coughs> government has lifted its sales ban, uh, while Sweden recently indicated that it may resume uh, arms exports to Turkey uh, following its restrictions imposed in 2019 after Turkey's invaded northern Syria. Are you going to comment on that uh, shortly? Yes, when I spoke to Foreign Minister Alistair Burt following Anna's death, I asked him about UK arms sales to Turkey. And Mr. Burt said that no UK weapons are sold to countries with a proven reputation for using them either offensively or against their own people or in contravention of the Geneva Protocol. I said that Turkey is definitely using weapons in this way. And he told me that it was impossible to prove currently, but that in the future, if this were the case, there might be legal action against Turkey for human rights abuses, but this would take years to determine. And my recent research on this reveals that uh, elected representatives in other European countries take the same view. So the implications are that under cover of the war in Ukraine, Turkey is able to intensify its attacks on Kurdish people with its own weapons and weapons bought from other countries and that no one in the international community will pay attention. Thank you. You mentioned the Ukrainian war as well. So Turkey is seeking uh, concessions from NATO allies in, in, in return for its assent to Sweden and Finland's membership and is even seeking to be rewarded for its role in supplying drone technologies to Ukraine. Um, so that's another uh, big... Uh, uh, market for uh, Turkey. Surely no concessions should be made to Turkey until these chemical weapons allegations are cleared up. So what is your uh, view about that? What is your comments on that, please, shortly? Well, as I say, I think Turkey's human rights record should be thoroughly investigated and legal action be taken 
at the level uh, of the International Criminal Court. But this has nothing to do with the issues that concern NATO. The moral or immoral behavior of its members comes rather far down the list of priorities for NATO, I'm afraid. <coughs> Excuse me, We're primarily concerned with strategic matters, not whether its members conform to the norms of civilized behavior as we would consider them. Thank you. Lastly, the real solution must be to bring to stop Turkey's war and bring about the peace. Uh, what can be done to achieve this? Whenever I have had occasion to speak to members of parliament or ministers on this subject, the reply has always been that Turkey has a legitimate right to ensure the safety and security of its people and may take whatever measures it considers necessary to achieve that. This is the official line in most countries which consider Turkey to be of regional importance, both politically and economically, as Britain does and as the, um, the, the leaders of the EU, I'm sure, do as well, and certainly NATO does. <clears throat> Now, the Syrian and Iraqi position is that the, although Turkey has invaded their territory, it is containing and limiting the threat of secession, that is, with political withdrawal by Kurdish-led organizations and its actions are not directed at their centers of government. Turkey's war for them is likened to pest control. This is how Kurds are generally seen by Turks, Arabs and Iranians. So there will be no move against Turkey's incursions and atrocities from them. Uh, notwithstanding that, the use of chemical weapons is particularly horrifying to Westerners. And I think if it could be proved that Turkey is doing this, then Western opposition to Turkey's military enterprise against uh, the Kurdish people will definitely be strengthened. We Westerners also don't see Kurds as pests. We see them as human beings, just like us. Racism is now accepted by us in the West as one of the world's main evils. Mm -hmm. Sadly, this is not true in the East, where racial profiling is endemic everywhere and everyone thinks they're superior to everyone else, apart from those like the Baluchis, the Uyghurs and the Kurds, who don't have their own countries. They know they are not superior because they are constantly being made to feel it. So the best way, in my view, to hold Turkey to the standards of civilized behavior, which we apply, uh, which we apply to ourselves, <clears throat> If the worst we are doing is flying asylum seekers to Rwanda for processing, we still have the moral high ground over Turkey because we don't use and would never use chemical weapons against anyone. And it is not only Britain which should be concerned, but the whole of the civilized world represented by the United Nations. As I said earlier, a UN resolution followed by a mandate for UN agencies to investigate Turkey's and illegal and immoral behavior is uh, immediately required. Dear Dirk Kampel, <laughs> Kampel's father and friend of Kurds, thanks for joining us. Thank you for your valuable comments today. Thank you for having me. Thank you.